I'm Rick Veer, sound designer and author of the Sound Effects Bible, and this is Rode University. Today we're going to talk about ENG, or electronic news gathering. ENG work is the bread and butter for many audio professionals. An ENG crew usually consists of a camera operator known as a shooter, a sound mixer, and a producer. It's very important that the shooter and sound mixer work closely together to provide the optimal sounded picture in the least optimal conditions. With ENG work, there are several types of mics that are used. Lavs or lavalier mics, stick mics also called handhelds, and shotgun mics. As we've discussed in our previous classes, the shotgun mic, like the camera, is directional. This means it captures whatever it's pointed at, and often this makes the shotgun mic the best choice for ENG. Rode's NTG-1 and NTG-2 are short shotgun mics that deliver broadcast quality audio on both the boom pole and the camera. Let's take a closer look at these mics. The NTG-1 and NTG-2 are basically the same microphone. Both are phantom powered. However, the NTG-2 is slightly longer to allow for a AA battery to internally supply phantom power. They both can handle high SPLs and feature a switchable high pass filter at 80 Hz to remove any unwanted low end rumble from the surrounding environment. Today I get a chance to take you to the place where I got my start in location sound, Detroit's own KDN Video Works. I'm here in the equipment room at KDN, one of the biggest video companies in Detroit. They provide equipment and crews for networks like MTV, the BBC, and Fox News. In my experience, there's no greater challenge for a sound mixer than running and gunning. And the guys at KDN know what that's all about. The secret to being successful in ENG audio is not only having the right gear, but making sure that you bring the right gear with you. There's nothing more frustrating than being out in the field and realizing that you forgot something back at the shop. Preparing your sound kit before you go out into the field is by far the single most important thing you can do to ensure that you capture the best audio on the shoot. When you start your day, make sure that you test all of your mics, check all of your batteries, and assume that something will go wrong on location and plan to have some form of backup like extra cables, mics, and maybe even a backup mixer. The NTG2 is a useful tool to have in your mic kit in case you find yourself faced with a camera that doesn't supply phantom power or in a worst case scenario, the phantom power supply in your mixer goes out. Now that we have our package built, let's go over some real world applications. First, let's take a look at one man bands. If you're a cameraman sent out on assignment without a sound mixer, you're known as a one man band. You'll still need to capture the best audio possible, but internal camera mics just don't cut it. This is where the NTG1 shines through. When mounted on a camera, this mic will allow you to gather usable sound bites in close quarters like locker room or dressing room interviews. Let's switch to the NTG1 mic. Of course, the camera needs to be nice and close to allow the NTG1 to capture usable dialogue so both the camera and mic are working as one unit. But what if the subject is on the move? Let's add a sound mixer with a boom pole and go over an elusive interview. The elusive interview is basically a man on the street style interview. However, the subject might be in a hurry or doesn't stop to address the camera. In this case, you'll want to be ready to grab any sound bite the subject makes as they race past the camera. To be ready for this, you should have a fair amount of your boom pole extended to allow you to reach the subject. And of course, be ready to run. Now let's head back to the chop shop and wrap this up. So let's recap. ENG work is all about being ready for that split second of usable audio. Many days you'll find yourself in the hurry up and wait mode in which you'll spend an entire day to gather four or five seconds for a sound bite. So make sure you're ready when the moment comes because there are no second takes with ENG work. Here's a couple of quick tips for gathering ENG audio. Keep your eyes on your levels. A good tip is to stand at the left of the shooter so that you can see the meters on the camera. Change your batteries before an interview or event to avoid losing audio during a take. 
Also, be aware of your surroundings. The cameraman is usually focused on the viewfinder and might not notice something happening off camera. Oftentimes, the sound mixer will give the shooter a light tap on the back to alert him to this. And finally, plan for the worst by being ready for anything. I'm Rick Fears, and I'll see you next time at Road University. Until then, make some noise.